Hey there, welcome or welcome back. This is Breathe and Budget. My name is Taryn. We talk about all things finance related on this channel, how I use the zero-based budget method, cash envelopes, fun savings challenges to meet our financial goals. Currently, we're working on a six-month emergency fund, so that's been fun. I hope you check out our savings challenge videos. My daughter and I do those together. So if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would join us over here. And let's get into today's video. Let's do this. Let me just set up the money really quick. And I do need to grab my wallet because I forgot. I think this is this should be 515. Okay, 100. Let's put this 50 to the side. I'm it's morning, I'm tired. We're not gonna do the 50s. So that's 200, 20, 40, 60, 80. 300 400 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 500 510 15 perfect 515 so yeah i counted that weird um it's been like an early morning and I'm exhausted and I'm filming this Saturday morning before I have to head out to yoga. And then after yoga, I have my hair appointment, which reminds me, I may have to use my cushion because I, it, the appointment just came up and I, I forgot that I even had it scheduled. So we'll have to look at that and see. It's in this binder, I think, this binder. One of those binders, we'll figure it out. Let me get my wallet. All right. So before we do our like, quick check-in, oh, I do have a couple of receipts. So now that my daughter's driving, she's been able to go to like the store for me. Um, so that has been actually a blessing. So she picked up our Sam's Club order. She went to Trader Joe's. I'm going to scan those receipts into Fetch Rewards. Let's see what I have in here. I have 10 from my personal spending. Dining out, I have 40, but I'm not going to take that out because um, I have yoga today. And then my hair appointment, which means I'm going to wind up eating out so let me put that to the side I'm, I'm not gonna need $40 but I just I'll keep that in there kids I have 40 sitting in here I'm gonna keep that in my wallet for now and those are the only three envelopes I have in there right now I do have my back to the bank but those are the only three I'm carrying um, and I do like to put my no spend challenge even if I'm not on a no spend month and my receipt holder uh, both of which are available in my shop in the front of my wallet because I figured it opening the wallet would it seeing the cash you know is not gonna be the first thing that people notice it's going to be this so that just kind of helps I know some people have asked like are you concerned about carrying cash with you and stuff like that but for the most part no I'm not so we might revisit my wallet again because we have to you know put money in there for my hair appointment but let's go into here Okay. These guys belong in here. I don't think I spent anything, but um, let's check. So that is my personal spending envelope. And I really love the vinyl. I think I might start doing this more often. And I think I'll create a listing um, by early next week uh, for this versus it printed like that. That's beautiful too, and this is actually my favorite font. I got my tattoo in the same font as my other like font options, but I love this. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. Oh, I did spend 10. I can't remember what I spent it on. Um, okay, I'm gonna put all of this to savings challenges, so I'm gonna throw that into the back because I'm gonna cash stuff for myself today, so I'll just use some of that. My husband has 60 left. Oh my goodness, I can do hard things. It is so funny. I I love that saying, you know, I can do hard things. That's like my saying. And we were in the garden and there was, um, I don't know, some type of pest. 
and I needed to get it and I'm just sitting there hyping myself up I'm like I can do hard things I can do hard things my husband's sitting there laughing at me he's like oh my gosh that is so funny I can't remember he didn't tell me what movie but he said wait till you see this and you'll see why it's so funny I don't remember what it was maybe one of you know what he's talking about but I was just hyping myself up I can do hard things I can do hard things uh, so this is date night we're left with 40 we did go to a couple dinners um, and so I don't know if you've caught my weekly check-in video that I said that I would start doing about like paying myself back but you'll see that spending being uh, reconciled in that video Dining out, we know we have 40 in my wallet, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 40, 55. So 155 for dining out. And then nails, this was our rollover. So we had 55 rolled over um, for the next time. And then kids, we know we have 40 in my wallet. So that would make this um, 60, 80, 90, 100, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You know my kids have been in here when the money's all messed up. They got ice cream from the ice cream truck. And um, I allowed Sky and River to pull money from here when they went to go do like my grocery pickups and stuff so that they could eat out. My goodness, what is happening in my... I don't know what my kids have done when they go in this binder, but it's dirty. Okay, toiletries. In this week's check-in, I'm gonna wind up having to pull from both toiletries and households, which means that I will have to replenish it back up to the 300 in the next couple months. I don't have to rush to do it, but that's just like the number that I'm comfortable with being in here. And eventually, if we can, we'll probably increase that because you just never know. Like, there's been times where I'm like, everyone needed this. Everyone needed that, like, in one shot. Like, toothpaste, shampoo, body wash, all those things, right? So, toiletries, we have 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. Okay, and then it should still be 300 for household... 100, 250, 270, 295, 6, 7, 8, 9, 300. Perfect. And then miscellaneous, I have not touched this, so we should have 50. Yeah. That's cool. There's no need to touch that this month. That'll be nice to have some rollover. So let's go ahead and flip back to the beginning. We're gonna do our cash stuffing. So I just did for myself $75 like usual. Um, I did, oh my goodness, you guys, when I put the money in here, I don't know what I was doing. I was like, I don't have enough tens. What was I thinking? Okay guys, I can do hard things. All right, so I did six tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And since it might go to savings challenges, I will take that nice one. So that's 60. And then I did three fives. One, two, three. Okay, so that's $75. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna take those two fives and that 10 with me. So I will put that in my wallet. I don't, again, I really don't carry a lot of cash on me. I know people are just, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people won't venture into the cash stuffing world is they don't like carrying cash. You can still be a cash spender and not carry a grip of cash on you. Um, so at sitting and doing like the weekly check-ins and paying myself back, some people would find like annoying. I'm gonna tell you it's not. It is it is quite essential if you want to really understand your habits of spending. If you want to basically be faced with the reality of how much you're spending and what you're spending it on. So I don't mind like swiping my credit card, my debit card, and then paying myself back. Um, my husband's going to get 100. We just did 520s. And I don't know, like, when they pull the cash, like, if the machine dispenses it for them, it was like I got this bundle. You can see the creases are all identical, like, from the same person. Um, so they had it all folded for sure. So this should be 160. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
yeah. Occasionally I still count my 20s that way. Like once I get to the fifth, I know that's a hundred. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for the essentials binder because we already cashed up most of it in the beginning of the month. Okay, so we're gonna hop into high priority really quick. And we are going into the home section. I need to do a cash condensing here soon. Um, and also pull money that I need to put back into, like I need to put into the bank and then I need money to go into like the high yield savings account. Uh, so here we have, we are gonna do, Edison is for sure, we did a hundred dollar bill. So let's see what we have now. 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 35, 435. Um, I'm still nervous about that because when I look at my bill and it says like we're on month 10 of 12 or I think 11 of 12 now, or no, 10 of 12, that we would owe like $900 at the end of the year. We've never owed that much. The most we've owed at the end of the year to square away with them is like 200 bucks. So the fact that it's that high and it's been that high every month for like I don't know kind of freaks me out only because remember we went the longest time not using our air conditioner unit we stopped using it when we were using it as a heater because it we thought it was broken and it wasn't like turning on so we were, were barely using any energy like I know we're generating more in our solar than what they are having to provide or give us backup or store or whatever that however that works I'm you know not 100% sure so that number kind of bothers me so I'm going to be calling them soon if it is like 900 or something bucks we're almost like halfway there and then I'll just set up a payment plan with them for the rest if I don't have it all um, but this should be enough like this right here basically would have already covered like the other year where it was like 200 bucks if it was like that every year this would cover two years but it's not looking like it's going to so that makes me nervous trash we're going to go ahead and add 20 and now we have 50 70 90 uh, 110 130 150 170 and I need to, when I do my cash condensing, look at these two because they're on auto pay. I need to see like, when are they coming out um, so that I can put this money back into my checking account cushion. Water is getting 20 as well. Okay, so now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 192. I think I counted that right. If I didn't, you guys will let me know. And then I think that's it in here. Yes. Okay, moving right along. This is our low priority binder. Um, low priority just meaning like if we needed to cut something out of our budget, this would be the one that would take the hit first. Or it's also things that maybe we don't need to fund as quick as what we would put in maybe our high priority. Uh, so we're going to go to the kids and we're going to their clothing envelope which essentially is like um everyone else is back to school because we homeschool so I don't have to purchase curriculum because we get funded because we're with a charter school so basically I just have to worry about like their clothes um so I've labeled it they grow so fast but essentially this is a back to school we are going to go ahead and we add we're adding 200 to this and this is going to start to die down um in the next couple months I won't be adding as much. I basically tend to this envelope seven months out of the year. And then four or five is perfect. And then there are months where I don't add to this at all. I might change the amount that I cash stuff and continuously add to it monthly. Um, let me explain what I did here. But for right now, no. So I had split this up like to know that this kid has this much left. This kid has so 150, 150, and then 150. Wait, no, 120, 30, 150 because she had spent some. I I have it written down somewhere, but basically I try to make this. Um, oh yeah, this one is this one because she had more. She has not spent. Why do I have the hundred in the back? I'm gonna have to figure this out again. I'm just gonna put it in the same order. Um, I have it written down somewhere. I just can't remember it right now to tell you guys. But basically, I try to keep track 
for each kid, like how much have they spent, because I do want it to be fair. Although, if one is not in need of shoes just yet, you know what I mean? I might add more to that kid to make sure that they can get that. I'm about um, like equity, not equality. Like I hope that I'm explaining that correctly, but like I don't necessarily agree that it needs to be equal. Like if I'm going to give 100, I don't think everyone has to give 100. I think we have to give based on the need. Uh, so if one has a need for something different, special, unique, um, maybe a little bit more expensive, like my daughter, um, she would need special like inserts in her shoes to help her with her like calf pain, like something like that. So she might get more money to make that purchase versus let's say like river who could just go to target and grab a pair of shoes ross grab a pair of shoes and have no problem do you see what i'm saying so i'm about equity not necessarily equality um i think equality isn't quite always fair I'll, I'll post a picture it gives a really good visual as to what i'm talking about i'll post it on the screen so now and they grow so fast we have 100 two three four hundred five hundred six hundred Oh, I couldn't do that. 600, 50, 710, 20, 30, 40, 750, 760, 770, 785, 86, 87, 787. So we have three girls. So that amount might seem like really high for someone that maybe only has one child, but this is for three girls. Um, one is 18, one is 16, one is 10. Obviously, uh, some are growing, some are not. Um, but then also needs change based on like, oh, they got a job. So now they need khaki pants or things like that. Or Harmony just discovered a hole on the bottom of her tennis shoes, her favorite pair. So it's like, mm, maybe they're done. <laughs> maybe we have to part with those now and get you a new pair of shoes so that we're going to have to do that. So, but look at that. It's chunky. I love that. It's chunky. All right. So that is it for today's video. Um, I hope that when I do this, I explain it well enough for you guys to understand my reasoning um, for anyone new you will see that obviously a lot of us that have been in this game for a while have a lot of categories this took years like in the beginning I had I think three or four um, maybe five tops in that first year basically the ones that I have in my essentials binder but over the years I realized like I'm gonna wind up spending money on these categories I might as well start putting a little bit away you know what I mean um, Oh, and I need to look at my hair envelope. So let me do that. I know I don't have enough. What? $5? I thought I was cash stuffing more than that. I might have to pull it from makeup. What happened? Did I, I just like completely forgot. See what I mean? I knew that this was going to come up. I'm going to have to pull from makeup. And that's still not going to be enough. 20, 30, 45. I like to give her cash, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Um... Yeah, see, but I don't know. I have to, like, I think what I failed to do was go through every envelope as I was creating my budget for the month. Um, normally, I like to have my binders with me, and I will, like, go through each category and say, oh, no, that one we can skip this month, or no, I need to add to that, um, because I should have added to haircuts. But I don't need, we don't, we have no need for makeup right now. Um, and anyways, when we do our shopping, it's usually at the end of the year, good sales at Ulta. Um, so I don't need that right now. And I'm not going to pull from all this, like, other stuff. Um, so I'll just have to figure that out. I might even take it from wellness and then replenish that. Um, let's see. So if I do that, maybe 110, 20. That might be enough. 125? I can't remember how much I pay. Because I just do my um, roots. And then with that, you get, like, a cut and a blowout. So, yeah, okay, so that's how I'm reconciling this um, purchase that was very expected, but yet I clearly treated it 
as unexpected. So I'm going to take 80 from Wellness, which I'll replenish. Um, and I don't need to buy another pack of yoga cards just yet, so I have time. I'll replenish that in July. My daughter has been working her summer job at the local pool, so she hasn't been going to yoga with me. So I have her card too. So if I needed to dip into her classes for my class, I'm allowed to do that. So I'll just replenish that in July. And then we had $5 in hair. And then I took um, 30 40 from makeup, which is no big deal because again, that is a low priority and not something we need right now. So, all right, now I'm not lying, I swear. Now the video is going to be over. Thank you so much for hanging out. Stay tuned because in the next couple weeks, we are going to be doing a cash condensing because this boy is chunky and I need to take care of that and get that money to the bank. So I appreciate you guys hanging out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.